Hello, my name is Julia, and this is Space Daily News Channel. On Saturday, November 5th, James Webb Space Telescope sent an image of Saturn's largest moon, Titan. Titan is the only moon in the solar system with a dense atmosphere, and it is also the only planetary body other than Earth that currently has rivers, lakes and seas. Unlike Earth, however, the liquid on Titan's surface is composed of hydrocarbons, including methane and ethane, not water. Its atmosphere is filled with thick haze that obscures visible light reflecting off the surface. Astronomers had waited for years to use Webb's infrared vision to study Titan's atmosphere, including its fascinated weather patterns and gaseous composition, and also see through the gaze to study albedo features on the surface. Titan's atmosphere is incredibly interesting, not only due to its methane clouds and storms, but also because of what it can tell us about Titan's past and future. By comparing different images captured by Webb's near-infrared camera, astronomers soon confirmed that a bright spot visible in Titan's northern hemisphere was in fact a large cloud. Not long after, they noticed a second cloud. Detecting clouds is exciting because it validates long-held predictions from computer models about Titan's climate that clouds would form readily in the mid-northern hemisphere during its late summer time when the surface is warmed by the sun. It was important to find out if the clouds were moving or changing shape, which might reveal information about the air flow in Titan's atmosphere. So, scientists quickly reached out to colleagues to request follow-up observations using the observatory in Hawaii. The observations were a success. Two days later, astronomers find out that there were clouds at the same positions, looking like they had changed in shape, thus obtaining confirmation of seasonal weather patterns. Scientists also collected data with Webb's near infrared spectrograph, which will give them access to many wavelengths that are blocked to ground based telescopes. This data will enable to really probe the composition of Titan's low atmosphere and surface in ways that even the Cassini spacecraft could not, and to learn more about what is causing the bright features seen over the south pole of Titan. Further observations of Titan with Webb are planned on May or June 2023. We will be waiting for them and stay tuned, so don't forget to subscribe.